Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis and I'm reviewing Jack and the Beanstalk, written by and starring Peter Duncan, which is playing at cinemas all over the UK this Christmas, as well as streaming online. People of a certain age will know Peter Duncan as a legendary Blue Peter presenter, but he's also a theatre person through and through, and among his many achievements, he's a writer and producer of pantomimes. And his are not the kind that use spectacle and star names as a substitute for substance. Now, he puts on traditional pantomimes, and realising that many families would miss the enjoyment of pantomime this year, uh, not to mention that many people would be deprived of working on one, he decided to film Jack and the Beanstalk. You won't see a better traditional pantomime than this anywhere. Peter Duncan just knows how pantomime works. Uh, the timing and the pace are excellent. And he's really pulled out all the stops. Um, there's everything you'd expect of a traditional pantomime. Um, there's a, a motherly uh, good fairy played by Nicola Blackman fighting the creepy evil uh, played with relish by uh, Joss Van Tyler. Uh, there's a custard pie scene, a, a pantomime cow, um, old and new jokes, and a convincing romance between a heroic Jack, played by Sam Ebenezer, and uh, Jill, played by Sarah Moss. And there's an impressive giant. There's also very good dancing and tuneful songs. In fact, the songs are terrific, uh, with some clever lyrics. One's a great comic sing-along, and then there's more of a stirring sort of anthem-like song as Jack climbs the beanstalk. Uh, Peter Duncan himself plays Dame Trot, and he's a, a, a classic dame with a glorious collection of uh, frocks and wigs and uh, hats. The Jack and the Beanstalk story is uh, followed faithfully, uh, but there are topical references, uh, cracks about the pandemic, and a, a Save the Planet uh, take on the story. One bold decision uh, is to not include an audience, either a, a live one or a, or a canned one. Um, what they do instead is leave gaps for the traditional uh, responses of, you know, oh no it isn't, and he's behind you. Um, and I think this will work, because you really do want to join in. The show is filmed in a beautiful garden, um, which uh, has lots of little nooks and crannies and adds a real enchantment to the story. Uh, which is, after all, about climbing a giant plant. And although it's filmed outside, the sound is uh, very clear, um, and the, uh, the filming and editing are all top quality. If you want to take your children to enjoy a traditional pantomime with an audience, then I think seeing Peter Duncan's Jack and the Beanstalk at the cinema would be perfect. And I also think it'd be great to gather the whole family round the telly uh, to enjoy this entertainment. I give Peter Duncan's Jack and the Beanstalk five stars. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews. You can also read my blog at oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk and listen to my Stage Musicals podcast on boxofficeradio.co.uk and at mixcloud.com.